Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahar here from All About Technologies and in this video, let's take a look at the Lur Max 2, which is the flagship device from Lur Echo. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. So guys, the Lur Echo, Lur 2 and the Lur Max 2 are exactly similar when it comes to design. Uh, but one thing that I have noticed that the Lur Max 2 is having the Lur Echo branding whereas there is a Lur TV branding on the Lur Echo Lur 2. So that is a little bit of difference you can see but apart from that both the devices are completely made out of metal and they have Corning Gorilla Glass protection on the top which makes them very well built and solid to hold in hand. And even though this device is having a 5.7 inch display, the screen to body ratio is quite good I would say. So that is the reason it won't really feel bulky and huge I think. And if we move on to the top, we have a IR blaster that can be used for controlling electronic appliances. We don't really have 3.5mm audio jack even on the Lur Max 2 just like the Lur Echo Lur 2. So you can use the USB Type-C port for listening to music and they have also made available the earphones which have the USB Type-C cable. So the, by that way you can use these CDLA uh, type earphones on the Lur Echo Lur 2 and as well as on the Lur Max 2. If you move on to the right side of the device, we have a volume control key and below that we have a power button. Both the buttons are made out of metal and they feel quite clicky and tactile. If you move on to the left side, we have a SIM tray that will accept two nano SIM cards. We don't really have a SD card slot, so you can't really expand the storage. So the storage, what you get is the storage that you will have. If you move on to the front, we have a 5.7 inch 2K display, which looks really amazing and sharp. At the bottom, we have three touch capacitive buttons, which includes a multitasking button, home button and the back button. If you move on to the top, we have some sensors, earpiece and next to that is the 8 megapixel front facing camera for taking some amazing selfies. If you move on to the back side, as I said earlier, the device is completely made out of metal. We have a Lur Echo branding, a fingerprint sensor and above which is the 21 megapixel camera with dual LED flash. Now we also have a 3100mAh capacity battery which is sealed and that can't be removed. So now the fingerprint sensor has got the mirror sort of a finish and let's see how fast the fingerprint sensor is on the Lur Max 2. So as you can see that the fingerprint sensor is quite fast and accurate and I had no issues or complaints whatsoever when I was testing this Lur Max 2. But make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned on my channel because I will be coming up with a dedicated review uh, like gaming review, camera review and a full review so stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe to my channel. If we talk about the specifications of this device, this device comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor. There are two, GB, uh, two variants of this device, that is 4GB variant and 6GB variant. Uh, the 4GB variant is priced at 23,000 rupees and the 6GB variant is priced at 29,999 rupees. Both the devices will be available at the end of this month. I'll leave all the details in the description down below, so do check it out. And if we take a look at the Antutu benchmark score, it is 1,43,408, which is just insane. So I hope that the performance of this device would be amazing. When I get the device, I will be talking about all those aspects in my dedicated videos like gaming review and full review. So as I said earlier, just stay tuned to my channel and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So as you can see that the UI is very similar to the UI that we have seen earlier on the Lur Echo devices. This device comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box. So that is really good uh, improvement done by Lur Echo team. If you take a look at the storage that is available out of that 64 GB of storage, uh, you can see that the storage is around 52 GB that is free out of that 64 GB. If you take a look at the RAM available after the first boot, it is around 3.8 to 4 GB of RAM out of that 6 GB. So 4 GB of RAM free is just insane. And I'm looking forward to test out this device because this is one of the first devices here in India to come with 6 GB of RAM and Snapdragon 820 processor. And also OnePlus 2 will be coming up very soon here in India. So I would be comparing both the devices. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So yeah, that's it for this quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below and make sure you uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Instagram, Snapchat. All the links will be in the description down below. And yeah, this is Saurabh Nahar here from All About Technologies. Thank you guys for watching.